South Australia. And this is my first symposium, the Lionsbury Sculpting Symposium I've ever been to. Uh, basically, I love stone. I, I guess my love for it started when we built our own um, cottages out of limestone from lying on our property on KI. And so handling it became, the fascination became um, with sculpting it. And I've only done a few pieces and so, yeah, it's, you've got to start somewhere, so they say. Heinrich and I'm an original South Southeast girl. I was born and bred on a sheep farm in Border Town, Western Flat, and we had uh, Mount Gambier Stone as part of our our home. And so I grew up with Mount Gambier Stone around me. And I'm an abstract artist, which means that's why this is like this and different styles rather than going with with the norm, if you like, um, with the standard ideas. And I really love texture as well. I work with texture with my designs and with my painting and my drawing. And working with the colour, the light, the way the light shines with texture gives it depth as well as just feel as well because you want to touch stuff that's got texture on it. Okay, so yeah, and to be here, I'm, I feel very honoured actually to be chosen as one of the people to be here as in the limestone symposium, as the sculpture symposium. So, why why limestone as a medium? Well, I haven't worked with it before. It's your Something first I've, time. Yes, oh, okay. it's my first time. I've never and I've never worked with an angle grinder before either. <laughs> never ever picked one up before either. <laughs> but yeah, it's just it's just there. I knew it's just a stage. I wanted to get into doing some sculpture work. And this came up out of the blue, and yeah, and I got in, and I'm, yeah, so I'm making the most of it. My name's Peter Reed. I'm a sculptor. I don't usually work in this material, and I don't usually carve, and I come from Newcastle. And, um, I didn't have anything planned, I didn't quite know what to bring, but um, I'm getting stuck in and um, I'm finding it very enjoyable. What do you think about using limestone as a medium for sculpture? Um, How are you finding it? Well, it's a, it's a perfect medium. A lot of diehards reckon it's too soft, but um, I think it's, um, it's very uh, suitable because it's more attractive than plaster. and. Um, a nicer colour, it's got a bit, a bit more of a grain, and um, no, it's good, very lucky um, to have it here. Yes, and it should be, um, probably should be more widespread as a, as a sculpting medium. And what do you think of the concept of the, the symposium? Well, it's a great concept. Um, it gives people an opportunity to meet other sculptors. Um, it's a very social occasion, and um, I think it helps one's individual work ethic too, seeing everybody else working, it um, keeps your morale up, keeps you going.
Righto, well I'm John Nelson, I'm from Adelaide. I, um, several years ago I just uh, gave up my office job and became an assistant to Sylvia Pony, who's probably the, uh, one of the, uh, the foremost um, sculptor in South Australia. And I do quite a bit myself. Um, this is the first time I've carved limestone and I'm enjoying the experience. It's uh, quite unlike any other material I've worked with. Um, it reminds me a little bit of plaster. I've dealt with hardwoods and stuff like that before and this is so much easier to work with. Yeah, it's um, quite resilient. Give it a whack here and there, and uh, it doesn't break away too easily. And yet, it carves, as you see, um, almost like almost like wood. So I'm sold. I think I'll be using uh, this as a material in the future. What do you think of the idea of this symposium? I reckon it's an excellent idea. I think this is terrific. I was blown away um, when I found that there were 50 artists all together doing the same thing. Um, and I've already had. Uh, some assistance from other artists who are here and as I have never done this sort of material before they were able to put me on the uh, they were able to correct the sorts of things that I was doing so I, I think it's a very valuable uh, sort of event uh, for artists My name's Wendy Rogers, I'm the Director of Art Exhibition and I'm fortunate enough to get a um, grant to come over and join the symposium this year to carve for 10 days which is a fantastic luxury because um, it's very rare in life where you can get that sort of time to dedicate to making art so and I'm here also to network with other artists and to um, develop some new skills and uh, share some of my experiences as well. Why limestone as a medium? I, I haven't worked in this before, so it's a new medium to me, and um, it's soft, it's very, um, comp you know, like it's very compact, so it holds a good line, it's easy to move, um, it's local to Mount Gambia, so of course it makes sense that they use it for a symposium. And what do you think of the limestone, and the symposium, the idea of... I think it's a great idea, and it's really fortunate that we've got something like this in Australia. They do it in Europe all the time, and it gives artists an opportunity to get together and network and you know in Australia carving really doesn't hasn't been held in great um, esteem in the art circles but things like this lift the profile of the art form and um, uh, educate the public and you know it's a really good um, good thing for Mount Gambia, a good thing for town, having people come into town and you know spend money and eat and accommodation and all of that. Now, the first time with limestone, you think you'll be using it again? I think so. I'm actually, I was at the quarry yesterday, and I'd really like to um, get some of this on the back, the back of a truck and get it over to Western Australia. I'm sure carvers over there would just love it. Yeah.